Dr. Dre let me in his room. I stole maybe 12 songs. I leak it on Canal Street, leak it in the public. And I just played dumb as fuck. Holly like, Berry really? tattooed on your back? No cap. I met her at a charity. And then I was like, yo, you know I got a tattoo of you on my back. She was like, why did you do that? I was like, I always wanted to fuck you. <gasps> oh, and take this black card. I got $1,000 to that one stack. Take the thousand out. I got cash up, man. I'll pay. <laughs> Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. I'm DJ Who Kid, and I'm here with my boy Mickey Mace, the card king. What's going on? And we on We Playing Space. We gotta kick some ass today. Okay, first of all, you could have kept the mm. last mm. part out. The kicking ass part, that's, leave that up to us. Oh, shit. You're doing too much now. This is our house. I'm not your brother. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, I'm the other. Yeah. Are we enemies now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. You're you doing a little too much. Okay, who can cheat you, man? So you, yeah. so, you, so you telling me you just coming to whoop ass, huh? Yeah, we, we coming in. This guy wins like millions, killing casinos everywhere. We're here to kill you guys. You know, if you need some pointers, let me know. Really? Oh, you thought you can give us pointers? I mean, I fell asleep on my Spades app last night. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, he, th he think he good, Walker. We're going to see if he really that good. Um, but Man, he can't play spades. He, 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 he ain't playing spades. See, this ain't gambling. You, you know how to play spades, right? See, when you, you do. don't gamble. I know how to play spades. When you don't gamble with a gambler, they can't play. Mm, so do you, you don't gamble? You guys want to play? I brought some cash if you really want to play. Yeah, you want to make it comfortable? Let me see that cash. Yeah, that's what y'all want to do? Uh, you want to make it crazy? Or, yo, how, how, how much is this uh, space game going to go for today? I don't know, man. I got a little 10-pack on me. Well, you got a little 10-pack? Walker, I don't have that. I, I got love. You got like 8 million followers. I should have known, but it may go come with the wreck aids, man. Hey, Pile, call the boys. Call the boys. <laughs> Okay, let's play. All right, let's see. This is this is how we really play in the hood. I don't know what you guys do, but this is how we play. You know what I'm oh, saying? That's how you play in your hood. Yeah, that's how we play, man. You got like 10 million followers. Pull your money out, you yeah, know? Yeah, let me tell you something, man. We we ain't asked for all this. <laughs> I got, got Y'all no. come in here and bring <laughs> What? Is that even real money? Is that real? <laughs> no, nah, this ain't prop. This ain't a booby set. Of course set. it's real. This is not die So why you want to come in and do that, man? Like, that? you make a nigga want to tuck your chain in. Don't what? be coming in. <laughs> You got the thicker chain. I, I'm like, I'm. You shining on the left wrist, hey brother. Hey, hey, we just came to play spades, man. We ain't asked for all of this. That's Y'all right. talk about betting and gambling and all this we stuff, got bro. Rappers, hey, man, we got you. celebrities. I mean, we trying to win some money. I, I lost I said, last okay. time. I got a, I got, I got a rat. That's all. Well, okay, well, that's all I got, man. I don't we'll got all that. I got a thousand dollars right now. Up, I got a thousand in cash out. That's all I got. Thousand dollars in cash. I can send what it to you I right got? to your phone. Let me see phone. what I got. Let me see what I, I bro, got. We, we, hey, best out of three. That's our game. I'll do that. You sure? I'll put my money to the right. Now y'all in our game. All this fucking. <laughs> nah, Walker, Walker, it's your fault that he did this. You the one started talking about betting, Walker. You supposed to be with me. Look, man, I, I don't gamble. I'm don't. still trying to come up, man. He man, I don't right gamble. Back. I don't okay. gamble. I'm a devout. Okay. I don't gamble. We playing spades with aces high. The ace of every uh, suit is the biggest card, mm. but the ace of spade trump them all. The best out of three games win it all. Don't cheat today, bro. Who cares? I'm you not sure. Nah, I ain't no, I ain't no cheat. Hey, I'll fuck you, with you, but I don't know. Nicky, can you watch his hand, please? I watch ain't, no, ain't no watch. He don't need to do none of that. Just how we spanked you last time, you're going to get spanked again. <laughs> So get ready. Wait, wait, with the cards you have now, are, are you counting the like what they have? Do, can you assume well, what I, they have? Yeah, well, I know what I don't have, so I know how many draws it takes until I have the winning book. Oh, he can play. Oh, yeah, he fuck. can play. He can play. He can play. Whenever you bring that type of money out, he can play. He can, he can play. Oh, come on, who can yeah, play, man? He, yeah, he, he can it's play. Go, man. <laughs> I, hey, I forgot to give y'all these black cards. Well deserved for you. Well deserved for who can. Mm. My partner always got a black card. Oh. I got one. Is that like racist to give him a black card? No, he good. He got black ink. Black card he got black means ink, so he that oh, you will okay. get this yeah. revoked if you talk across the bar, Renee, catch oh. you cheating, doing anything you're not supposed to fucking do. So if you talk to him when it's game time, we we'll take that away. When you get okay. all those draws before the book, shit, we'll watch you. You could, huh? Who kid? I mean, I'm covered. He'll pay a 10 stack if, if I lose my card. All right. And what's going on with you, man? All right, things been going. What's new with you? You know, what's some projects you got coming up? I'm relentlessly on tour with Walker until the rest of my life, but uh, I just got kidnapped by Mike Tyson, kind of like the permanent host for hot boxing. And I've been seeing that. Yeah, so uh, we did 12 podcasts in two weeks uh -huh. with all kinds of celebrities, all walks of life. And uh, now we're doing it in Miami, L.A., and Vegas. Nice. So we need to get you on there. Let me tell you something. I, Walker I did it. I don't know the weed Mike Tyson smoked, 
But it seemed like it's something dangerous every time. So, yeah, man, you growing up being a DJ, who's one of the, the DJs that inspired you to be what, what you are today, man? What, what, what got you into that? A uh, combination of, uh, you know, we talk about 50 years of hip hop. I'm, I just turned 52, so I was around when there was no hip hop. And I saw mm -hmm. it come in. So kind of like Grandmaster Flash, Kid Capri, mm -hmm. and then DJ Clue lived down the block from me. So I had no choice but to get into the business. Mm -hmm. And then uh, coincidentally, uh, 50 Cent was a far. Yeah. So I, I became his DJ mm -hmm. after they tried to kill him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you was around that time. Yeah. So they, he didn't want to hire like... Uh, like a DJ, like, you know, like rehearsals and shit like that. So I had to, it had to be a blood relative. So my cousin was his manager, Sean Money XL. Mm -hmm. And that's how I became 50 Cent's DJ. But a lot of people don't know. I used to DJ for like Juvenile. Mm. You know, Back like, that ass. And then I DJed for CNN, Capone Noriega. Shout out to Nori. He got his own podcast. Mm -hmm. And 50 Cent was like the last. And then, of course, me and Walker has a, we have a joint situation here. And you're getting cut. And you don't got no more space. Thank you, you. you disrespectful, bro. Yeah, yeah. Get, You're disrespectful. Get my man oh, you coming here disrespecting Get my man that shit. Don't worry about that. Uh, I might as well just go out. How, how was it working with 50, though, man? Like, you know, was that an inspiration for uh, you? Like, I you learned know? a lot. Uh, we created a blueprint of the mixtape stuff. You? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, we won. That's all y'all get. <laughs> yeah, hey, <laughs> shit. <laughs> See ya, I got the card expert. No, no, you no, guys no, no. are done. Got seven. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I brought the man here. Yeah. Got my N word card. He got, he's an N word too. He's that's N word this, today. Is this an N word pass? <laughs> yeah, that's something you might not never know about. Don't even worry about that. That, that ain't got nothing to do with you. We just gave it to you because you, you were him. That's why we gave it to you. So don't worry about that other shit. Yeah. But enjoy while you got it. Yeah. Oh, don't man. get it took. Hey, hey, who kid? How is it that you stay so relevant? I done seen you with pictures with Gaddafi, Michael Jackson. Like, Damn. you got some, 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 I heard Donald Trump do a drop. Macho Man Randy Savage do a drop. Nelson Mandela. Like, you said Nelson Donald, Mandela you said do a Who Kid drop. <laughs> like, he know wow. these folk, like. That is fucking wild. How did you do this? Uh, I don't know. I, I believe in fate. Uh, I believe in catalytic moments, and I believe in continuing to keep pushing until the doors just keep opening. There's always, uh, I'm not the same person like from last year, and I'm not the same person from 10 years ago. So I feel like learning to assimilate and not keeping the old ways in your head mm. keeps you fresh. And uh, I, I feel like I'm remixed every year. I didn't think one day I'd be doing podcasts with Mike. I didn't think you know I would have Eminem as my boss. Uh, I don't think I would be touring doing EDM with Waka. I didn't think that I would have my own strain. Like I, it's so much. I mean, I think universally, we are here for a, a reason. But you just gotta sit back and be patient and wait. And I think uh, I learned that from him too, because he does all this spiritual stuff, yoga. I just started just throwing hot rocks in my pants and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like. <laughs> I'm just like just breathing in and out, you know. Like <laughs> he, he would have you doing. Shit yeah, like that. he got me. Yeah, it's crazy, but it really works though. Yeah, it's so, amazing. You so, know. Yeah. When did you know like DJing and music was the thing that you wanted to do though? I, just, I lived know. in Springfield on One Eleventh, so Tupac was always on my block. Oh wow. Um, Biggie. They used to get beats from a guy named Tall Stretch. You know, Life Squad, Walker. You know, your click very close with these guys. So I had no choice. You know, like I said, Envy Clue was my neighbors. Steve Style lived three blocks away. Run DMC was in Hollis. L Cool J lived four blocks up. So I, I had to get into hip hop, you know. And then, like I said, I was I was bred to to to, to absorb it. So mm -hmm. I just let it pop off, mm -hmm. you know. So uh, over the years, seeing how hip hop changes to full three sixty, where it's like clothing and music styles, and mm -hmm. I went through every generation from Ice Cube to N W, like you know N W A, Trial Core Quest. You know, the hard stuff, Nas. I see everything came in. I saw MTV come in. I saw VH1 come in. I used to listen to, like, NXS, and mm -hmm. there was no hip-hop when I was around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I saw it all come in. Yeah, so yeah. now I hang with Lil Durk and oh, fire. even Walker be bugging. I'd be with, like, you know, all the Kodaks and all yeah, the young yeah, yeah. kids because I've learned how to understand the human connection to music. And, and we, it, it, we you know, follow up on that, you know, what you just said, you know, how do you feel about, like, the new generation, man, from how it used to be back then to now? Like, do you it's, feel like it's, it's better? Kinda, is it, you know, no, is it's, more it's, advanced? It's, it's or? cool. It's, it's like, uh, you know, me being a DJ is the cheat code. You know, I'm not in the box like every other human being where they don't understand 
why these kids rap like this because we went through it too. I saw it, if anything, I saw it like in every transition. Mm -hmm. Why are they doing this Afrocentric shit? Why is this gangster music? Why mm -hmm. are they breakdancing? Why are they, mm -hmm. you know, so I've seen like the questions, but I always see the answers of how this is a billion dollar business. Mm -hmm. So you just gotta like accept it. You can't like judge what these kids are doing because they are here touring, making more money than what we did back in the days. Say, who can I got a question? Mm -hmm. All right, since you say you've been in music this whole time, who is Who Kid's favorite artist today? My hands down in the beginnings was always uh, like Rockham or Big Daddy Kane. Mm. But you're talking from the age of what? And you're, you're a kid that's from Haiti. You know, in Haiti, we didn't have nothing. I was butt naked running. Every time it was raining, we ran out there butt naked with all the other kids. Is it a thing in Haiti that y'all carry knives like that? I, I was, every time I think about Haiti, I think about big knives. <laughs> I just think about not they do be playing? stabbing the shit. Yeah, they play with it. They gonna stab shit out. The you. gangsters, the gangsters have machetes and stuff. It's, it's a form of fear. So are you a gangster? Oh, it's a form of fear. Yeah, yeah like you, you'd be horrified too if you saw a walker with a big machete coming. For at sure. You. Like, are, are the gangsters the one that's, that's in fear, or is it they they fear other no, people? No, the people there are horrified. And I'm horrified too, even talking about that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have but, you ever had one of those? You got a knife at your house? You got one of big machete? I, I got like a little butter knife. I, I'm not gangster at all. I went to Catholic school. These guys are like the gangsters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's what's up, I'm from man. The I, hey, I'm glad you talk about the gangster because I'm a gangster that ass. Like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm from the suburb. Yeah. Uh, I went to Rap show me Walker, I ain't gangster. Yeah, Walker. Is I got to go to hoods that was way more hooded than my hood. And I said, you know something? I got a heart. I'm not gangster. Gangsters don't got a heart, man. Yeah. I roll with gangsters. I think being in the business uh, over the years, I've always been protected because of what I've done. So it's kind of cool to be in that position. See ya. Damn. Got him. All right, so this part of the show is called Renee, right? What is one thing that you feel like in your career, or if it's not in your career, you know, you growing up as a kid, whatever it is that you feel like, man, I should never did that. What's something you wish you could take back? I wish I didn't um, start so late. Mm. At my career, I started like in the in like high twenty nine thirties. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I just started enjoying the fruits of all this bullshit. Like now, I'm fifty two, but thank God Jay Z and all these guys, Busta. There's no age limit in hip hop now. Mm -hmm. It's all about the respect factor of what you've done, mm -hmm. and uh, people just respect your resume and what you've contributed. Mm -hmm. They don't look at old heads as failures in this day and age. And then I, I've proved it. Like a lot of kids you know, want to hang with me, and I don't know. I, I, maybe I'm a unicorn. I don't know, because there's, there's some old cats I wouldn't hang with. What do you got? Oh, 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 oh hearts, 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 yeah. Oh, he got close. One, two, three, four, five. He, hey. <gasps> he, oh, oh, my God. Right oh, here. and take his black card. Uh, take his black card. Let me get that, baby. Take his black card. Let me get that. It's your part of this. You didn't have to cheat. It's your part of this. We're still going to win. It's your part of this. Give me that motherfucking black card. Came they killed us in the game. Oh, I came like I got caught. Queens of Clayton County, man. You didn't have to oh, cheat. Queens of Clayton County, oh, man. You can't get me like that. We would have still won. No, we would have uh, still won. You don't have to cheat. Ah, he no, kept us in the game. We would have got seven. He kept us in the game. For sure. For sure. You know I was on it. You know it's 1-1 now. Yeah. You're good, on bro. Oh, you watch if you hurt. It's my show. It's on me. Yo, watch this guy. It ain't that I'm watching. I have eyes. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. My That's why he's my partner, alive, my boy. Hey, you, you don't gotta cheat, we're still gonna win. You know it's 1-1 one, one now. Yeah, I know. If we win, you gotta give us one of them stacks. Damn, Mickey, I thought I had Nah, Mickey about to win. Don't do that. <laughs> no, no, no. We got to say it, bro. If we I, win, we're going to get one of them stacks. We can split it. We can split it 50-50, bro. I keep telling you, when a person that gamble don't gamble, it ain't serious. Brother, <laughs> I'm telling you. But the people watch I it. got $1,000 to that one stack. <laughs> Take the 1000 out. I got cash up, man. I'll pay. <laughs> I promise you, I get it. I promise you. I swear you. In a Bronx? Somebody give me a thousand dollars in cash. Somebody give me a thousand dollars in cash right now. Walk, give me a thousand dollars in cash. I'm okay. I, I got you. I got you. I, got you. I promise you. Oh, right oh, you hey. get, oh, you oh, you stand up for your boy. No, that's my boy. I'm going yeah, to cash, I'm a cash up him after this. I'm, oh. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I'm doing it. That's, that's cool. This, this, this part of the game is, is that we're going to do this. This called follow suit. Mm. Well, yeah. I didn't follow the suit. I, didn't, <laughs> I definitely didn't do that. Right? This is follow suit. Meaning, okay. what's an unpopular opinion that you stand on? An uh, unpopular opinion? Yeah, that who I, kids stand on. 
I think uh, the cancel culture, due to, I guess, technology, the media, all the control that's going on, once you see one thing go out, there's, like, no return. I kind of, like, went through something like that a little bit because I was supposed to go to Brazil. So I put on my Twitter, yo, I'm going to Brazil, so where do I go eat? Where do I visit? Like, I want to, like, enjoy the beautiful Brazil. Somebody wrote on my Twitter, you'll get condoms, there's AIDS there. So I wrote back to that guy, yo, I'm just cut it out. I just want to know where to eat. Somebody got that clip of me responding, and they're saying, who kid said there's AIDS in Brazil? So I I got canceled by all of Brazil, and then the next tour was 50 Cent in Brazil. (laughs) I thought I was going to get killed by, you know, this gangsters over there. So I had to do a press conference in the MTV version of Brazil with 50 Cent so people don't kill me. Wow. Like, literally, we're sitting there with a whole press conference, like, 100 cameras. Like, you thought I was, like, Donald Trump or something. <laughs> and I was like, I didn't say that. But, you know, the, the, I need the, footage the language barrier. <laughs> the problem is... That's it, NFT. Nah, it's, it's the language barrier. So it's like, you know, if you got all these Spanish people getting that media in one way, I went through that, which was an indirect situation, but I just feel bad for a lot of people these days where they get canceled but, I mean, some things is, is kind of, like, ridiculous, and they deserve to get in trouble. But you don't cancel a whole person's career or what they've done and everything from, like, some of the stupid shit that goes on. So that's where I come in. I, I think you should just, like, let bygones be bygones on certain situations that are stupid, not the real serious ones, you know? No, that council culture is it. Hey, I, I was involved in it, too. So. Hey, you were involved in that shit? Hell yeah. What'd yeah, you get canceled it for? It was not good. No. Nah. I did it at the wrong time. I should never did it. <laughs> I should I should have read the room. Go, they told go. me read the room. I should have read it. I didn't read it at all. At the time, I think I, it wasn't time to read it, and I messed up. Nah. But you know, I, and I respect the people that I get it. I get it. What was going on? I ain't gonna speak too much of it because I don't want to bring it up. <laughs> bring and, it back and up. And they gonna spit me right back in there where I was at. Um. So, who was the the best artist or person that you worked with in your career that uh? She was like, oh, yeah, like, oh, this is it. Okay, I'm, I'm up there now. I'm like countless artists that I'm friends with now, which I never thought that would happen. But when I saw I was in Dr. Dre's studio and I actually was like going through his computer, stealing the records. Oh, wow. That's when I know I made it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was known for. I was known for like leaking people's songs unfinished. Like, I used to wait for Jay-Z to come out the studio with Bleak and everybody and Beanie Siegel and all of them. I used to just wait till they come out. Ocean's Eleven, that shit. Go in there. <laughs> pay the fucking whatever the sound guy, G or 500. They give me the whole unfinished session. So yeah. I leak it on Canal Street, leak it in the public. Jay-Z's looking for me. Never caught me. The coast is clear. Everything dies down. We do it again. <laughs> but this time, Dr. Dre let me in his room. I don't know what's wrong with this nigga. He's out of his mind. I stole maybe 12 songs. Yeah, yeah. And I just played dumb as fuck. <laughs> Where did that come from? Illegal websites? What? <laughs> and me and him became best friends. It's funny because the DJ Clue thing and all of leaking records, they wanted to kill us. I got kidnapped by Big Pun on music stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's on the internet. You know, walk up still laughs to this day. Yeah. Um, But other than that, we became heroes. It's on, yeah, you knock on wood, yeah. How do you feel like it is with the beef back in the day than the beef that's going on with other rappers and people going on now. Because y'all shit was serious. When y'all said y'all was going to do something, y'all did it. Yeah, I mean, back then it was, uh, I think back then. It was then, a rap battle. Then. Yeah, it was more like rappers going at each other. It wasn't really that serious. Obviously, you see, I'm still alive. I'm yeah, still yeah, here yeah. talking to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it wasn't that serious. Yeah, but when you said, kid- <laughs> when you said kidnap, I was like, shit. You yeah, know? yeah, they had me in the van and everything, but uh, with Uzis and all kinds of stuff. And that was big pun. They mm-hmm. actually kidnapped me, but... Um, it, it, you know, we worked it out. But nowadays, these kids, they shoot first and kill everybody. And then uh, it, it wasn't like that back in the days. I think mm, you're more likely to know. get killed now than back in the days. Mm. But people like Tupac and like even Ice Cube, I just interviewed him. He said it was serious back then. It just, it's a miracle they never really interacted with each other. Like, you know. Do you think, you think it, because, we, you know, you, you see it more like it's the phones now that's catching everything. It's you know, back social in the day. media, yeah, yeah, social yeah, yeah. media, and usually, um, you know, Walker knows this. It's really not the artist; it's friends, clicks. Yeah. So, yeah. click versus click. So that's my, that was my problem. Fifty Cent, he had like thirty people with him. DJ Who Kid goes to Miami solo. 
if you got Rick Ross fucking, you know, Rick Ross runs or whatever is in Miami, yeah. I got to watch for myself. Mm -hmm. So I don't have 30 people with me. Facts. So that's my problem. Mm -hmm. So I had to like use mixtapes to be my security guard. So I did everybody's mixtape. Mm -hmm. Bloods, Crips, mm -hmm. this guy, the, whoever. I did, so it's like, if you fuck with me, you're fucking with the money of the artist. <laughs> so, the, so you gotta understand, like whoever I did the mixtapes for, <laughs> Then I gotta if, if 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 you fucking kill me or you beat me up, you yeah. just fucked up the money. Like even the game, like the game has beef with everybody. But I did all his mixtapes. When Fair. I go to LA, I don't gotta worry about the game coming after me. No Fair. matter how crazy the beef is, game will not touch me because I put him out first, and yeah. I inherited all the like cultures and it's, it's just and a they weird. Fuck with you it's, a, it's a weird dynamic, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm not like I said, I'm not gangster, but mm -hmm. I have red buttons, mm -hmm. you know, like Macazo, all the Zopon guys. I have a good amount of red buttons that if you do mess with me you will have issues mm. you know but it just goes deeper than that you mm. know i just became like this like i said this unicorn in this business where man you who kid man <laughs> you're like, you the legend bro. i ain't like, that shit I, uh, i ain't hearing that man i already you know i already know. Hey, and i'm a young guy so you know i'm i'm, I'm kind of like learning so the question i'm asking i'm, I'm learning from you you know no, from no, experience no, and stuff good. like that yeah and then you know i don't know man i i just made it like a a fun business. I love hip hop, man, because yeah. we all make millions for the last couple of years from this business, and I'm just glad I, I came in at the right time, mm -hmm. you know? And the amount of artists I work with, I kind of like work with everybody, and me and Jay Z is mad cool to this day. Mm -hmm. Everybody I robbed, I'm cool with. Mm -hmm. So if I didn't do that, even Eminem, Eminem is my boss. Mm -hmm. I leaked the Eminem record. I got banned from Detroit. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I got. People looking for me. I hid in Canada. Hey, why for Eminem diss me, bro? Eminem dissed you? Yeah, on a song. What? When he, when he went against like MGK. Asked that you in that song? Hey, oh, yeah, bro. What was why the why line? That, bro? I I ask like, he did Some shit. I gotta ask you. I gotta ask you. I got diss track. No. <laughs> Yo, black card has been revoked. That's what my. Guy <laughs> yeah, he could. He could. Yo, man, hold on. This is one one four four. <laughs> Whoever get three books right now win. Now Waka. go ahead with your move, bro. Well, I got, I need you. Just so you know, know I got move. two of them. Tell, tell them what part of the game this is, because we, we. This is put your bid in. As far as you know, your career, as far as things going on, how do you see hip hop in the next fifty years? Like you know, of course, this is the fifty year anniversary of hip hop, but fifty years from now, how do how do you see it? You know, what do you think would be going on right now? Is it uh, would it be legendary? You know, what, what what would it be? I see it taking over uh, everything, over country. Nobody's gonna listen to country music no more. It's just gonna be hip hop, and we're gonna be in outer space, mm. probably in Mars or Pluto. What did hip hop influence you in your life, and how did you move with hip hop in your career? Hip hop gave me a lot of style. Um, like I wasn't born in a town that was like super influenced by hip hop, so I think like as I got older, it like made me a little different than a lot of people I grew up around. Okay, I always seen you, man. When I not knowing you, I'm like, man, he got he, he got some hip hop in him. The way he playing them cards and gambling. My boy pulling up with two honchos. I, I can tell you about the money. He, he, he most definitely hip-hop. He's shining. Joke's up. That's what the chain say. Joke's up. Shout out. I don't know what's on his wrist. I just know it's bloody late. <laughs> Dog, yeah, shout that's out. That's AP. That's, that's why I got my oh, watch okay. down here. I, 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 <laughs> and I, I saw you doing this. I, was oh, like, I, I didn't know what was going on. Why you do that to us, man? <laughs> I mean, I got kidnapped and almost got killed maybe 16 times, but this guy, I don't know how he's still alive, considering he bankrupt so many casinos and his, his story His story's crazy. How his, many casinos you bankrupt in your life? Nah, like on paper bankrupt? <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, let's go. You got to I need you, baby. You I, need, I need you, you I need you, bro. I need, fucking yo, yo, need yo. you, bro. Hold on Watch a second. I need Watch you, bro. One, two, three, four, five, we win. What you mean? We win. Yeah, all right, we good. See ya. Hey, that's what, we don't do that. No, we do. I stuck up the board. We, we win. Doing that. King Queen Jack. We win. Next three books. We doing that. Game over. Walker, Walker, that ain't our rules. No, no, that ain't. That ain't what we do. We play the whole game. And that's this is what it is. You can't be serious. Yes, yes we can. can. Our our we gonna keep talking. All right, man. How your mama been? How your life? How your family? Your family? <laughs> Have you been taking care of them? God damn. <laughs> Who you got kids? You came back here. With Do you got kids? Boy, you fucking I came cheating. back with Avengers. I brought a pro. Damn. I got time for this cheating Just shit. That, 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 and that I got caught cheating. Got yeah, we caught that, man. That's Let's go. Shit. That's Let's go, man. This game is over, man. Ah. This game is over, man. See ya. See? This is how you play the game. You see? Bam. I beat you, though. Yeah. I got <laughs> you. Yeah, whatever. <laughs>
So what but is the I, score now? We, 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 we got one, two to one. Uh, so it's over. All right, my guy. See, I brought a pro. This is how it's supposed to end. This is how it's supposed to be. And this is the twelve million dollar guy. There's no way I can't fucking lose, man. So yeah, man. Like I said, I got this uh, production company. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for people that can donate, bro. So if you if you feel like you 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 have a great heart, you know you want to have some write offs, you can write off to me. I'll so, make you a deal, yeah. and I'll invest right now. Okay. For every two thousand I give you. You give me four thousand, and all this is yours, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from I'm, that, that UK. <laughs> that's good. I'm not gonna take that. I, I just want to invest. So you just own four hundred thousand. That's it. No, I'm, I got four uh, every every two. I'm not doing that. You ain't even trick me. That's two hundred thousand, brother. I'm not doing that. I'm good. I want just that. Just invest for a write off. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want. You know, I'm trying to help him because he's gonna have to do it anyway. <laughs> You know, there's one thing. You know, I, I, just want, I want my boy to spray his now. <laughs> you, you know, there's one thing I didn't know about gambling. Like with him, like I didn't know that if you win 11 million, they give it to you. He has a choice to get it in cash or get the wire, and he chooses to get it in cash. Mm. So this, I almost got kidnapped. Well, I did get kidnapped. Almost got killed. But him, they paid him in 11. And then they're following him outside. Can you explain this? I, I don't want to know about your got killed. You keep saying you almost died. Yeah, I got to yeah, talk yeah, about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, though. I got chased one time. It was actually not the 11 win. It was, uh, I won four and a half million. I always take the cash. Because there's like a history with the casinos. First of all, when they sent a wire, which I tried one time, there's no paperwork. They're just like, you give them the chips, you give them the wire info, and they're like, all right, we'll see you when we see you. And I'm like, well, what if the wire never comes? And then they're just like, oh, it'll come, you know? So I don't trust that. And the checks, they can always cancel a check before it clears. Mm. Oh, so I pay me in cash yeah. now, and if you have an issue with my winnings or whatever, we can talk about it. It's fine. Just pay me first. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to take me to court? No problem. I'm going to use your money to get my way through it. Mm -hmm. Just pay me now. Mm -hmm. So they pay me one time. I won four and a half million. They pay me in cash, and we got chased. Me, me and my boy, we got chased up Las Vegas Boulevard with the money in the trunk by a black SUV, and we got away because we pulled into a. Uh, the Palazzo, which just trunk checks when you try to pull into their driveway. Oh, so we pulled up on the security <laughs> going to check our trunk. And I'm like, hey, be discreet. Look in the back seat. He looks at four and a half million in hundred dollar bills. I said, the truck back there is following us. He goes, I'm going to hold them up. He goes, stick right through the, through the valet here. Go through the uh, employee parking lot in the back. You're going to hit Colvo. When you hit Colvo, make a right and just get out of town. <laughs> and he held up that truck and we got out. Wow. Yeah. Private were you, were jet. Were you scared? Were you scared? That guy was about to not Were you nervous? Were you uh, like, nigga, this is it. See you. it <laughs> no, I wasn't scared like that. We just tried to keep our cool because, like, if we started acting on emotion between me and my boy, we wouldn't have figured out a way out. Yeah. By staying calm, my boy, he was the one who came out with the idea. He goes, trunk checks, Venetian. I said, let's pull in. We pulled in, and if I was frantic to that security guard, he'd be like, yo, yo, just chill out. What are you saying? And by mm. then, the truck could have ran up on us. Mm. So we pulled up calm. I said, hey, bro, just look in the back seat. Mm -hmm. Whatever, whatever. Everything was calm. Everybody understood. We were all coherent, and that's how he helped us escape. Mm. That's so, crazy. How many bags is that? that like they still walk out with you like that? Yeah, so it's funny because so they all have, every casino has these like nondescript bags. They put you in like a private cage, like a locked door, their own security guard. They're, like It looks like camouflage, sort of. Like, you don't even know there's a, a cage back there mm -hmm. to Ooh. get like large sums of money and then they have nondescript bags to put the cash in so you can walk around and they just think you're holding like computer bag or whatever it is mm. sometimes they run out of bags they're not like expecting like you know the bag only fits you know a couple hundred thousand so they have to give you like 10 bags 15 bags whatever it is sometimes they run out so when i hit the four and a half million they're like we don't have the bags for this so i was like all right i said bring me a, a bellhop desk uh the cart you know like for luggage mm -hmm. and i said bring me as many security as you can so we just loaded up all, they came in half a million dollar packs, like uh, clear cellophane. So we loaded up all the half a million dollar packs on the bell cart desk and had security circle it. And they, they pushed it out into the car, into the valet. My boy pulled the beamer up. They loaded it in the back seat. A beamer. And, and that's when we took off. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking crazy. This shit is crazy. Uh, if everything like dead, about dead president, you remember this? Oh, yeah. Because yeah. I'm like, yo, this shit is fucking crazy, yo. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, but this guy, he's, he amazes me because all the gamblers you see, like Drake and everybody, they winning. Like, they, they actually, like, interact with this guy. I see that's little fire. baby that's kicking fire. ass. That's fire. Who do you interact with more? Like, more like little baby or Drake? Like, or, or, or you? Um, I'm, I probably interact more with baby than I do Drake. Mm. Um, but they're both, like, really solid guys. Like, solid human beings, you know, for so sure. So is that real when, when the ball goes around and they win, like, 
all right, I'm about to win 16 million. And then Drake is like, yeah. yeah. Is that real? I don't know. That, they, they want some money together put him in on Vegas. Spot like that. Hey, 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 Wow. Yeah. It's not an exact number because some of them will put me on their blacklist before I've ever even been there before. Oh, wow. So I'll, like, walk in, and as soon as I walk in, they're like, you're officially on the list. Like, now we can inform you. Don't come back. So it's not, like, a fixed number because I don't really know until I walk in, but it's about 95%. Do they tell other casinos how much you've won? Like, you won, oh, yeah. you just got us from 11 million, like. 100%. 100%. Shit. They have a central communication system between the casinos. Wow. Yeah. So wow. uh, he, he, he's the reason why I quit gambling because he, he thinks there's like a fixed thing. There's so many like components to, to stop you from winning, not just the probability of you losing, but there's so much. I don't other think shit so. We don't pay attention yeah. to. That's, you don't think so? You think crazy. it's a fair game? I don't gamble, so I don't give a fuck, but I don't <laughs> It's right. not a fair game. I'm okay. I yeah, don't well, like, what, what was the reason? Like, he's not supposed just to talk about this kind of money? stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm a liability. I'm, hey, not, uh, I'm not a profitable player. Did we miss player. anything? In Got it. In a, so do you hey, have like did a, we a secret code? Hey, 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 okay, hey, okay. hey, hey. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> bing, 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 He's bing. not supposed to talk about this shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, who kid? Who kid? You just made me think about something. Me, knowing you, who kid? I done met some interesting people, man. So it's a question I know we forgot to ask you, that I wanted to ask you. What is like your moment, top two moments, and don't be politically correct. Oh, I'm not. That you could say, yo, this is a fucking memory. You know, when, you, when you're a guy that's in the attic putting CDs together in your mom's house and you think it's a joke because you're doing it as a hobby, and then you wake up one morning and then they're like, yo, the car is ready. Let's go. We're going to go to Nelson Mandela's house. That's, that's like, crazy. I used to do mixtapes, like. And you been to his house? And I, yeah, we we visited. We did the charity for him in South Africa. Even yeah, Fifty yeah. Cent was like bugged I've out. There. I've been there too. Even him, after yeah. all the stuff he did with the mixtapes, and we did yeah, like three hundred shows. Yeah. But the fact that we're in front of Nelson Mandela kind of mm -hmm. like solidifies that mm -hmm. we used to see him in you know history books and shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, and then this is what you know the school system gave us. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's you know everything's apartheid and this and that. But we fucking are hanging with a historical dot. That's fire. In anything that has to do with black, we hung out with the historical dot. Yeah. And my mixtape got me here with gunshots and craziness, and I'm cursing niggas out and fuck this nigga, fuck that nigga. And then what I yeah. bet, this is what I'm saying. Nigga, I like, slap you, put that nigga, stop playing with me. Yeah, like, you know, I'm, I'm like dancing, spelling niggas' names and shit. Like, yo, know, right? yo, it just was like, you know, and then it led to like other stuff like Gaddafi, and, you know, I, I hung out with like, you know, America call him a terrorist or whatever, but. He was cool with me. Yeah. He just booked me for like events and shit. Like I'm not into like buying missiles and shit. Like I'm not into that shit. Like let me get a tank. Then yeah. like he ain't paid me with a tank. Yeah. yeah. But it's just like <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like but it's just like for me to be like a mixtape guy, mm -hmm. and I'm with like historical anomalies. Like you know like Prince. A lot of people don't know Prince Albert did my birthday party mm. five years straight. Damn. I, I I you know definitely Nelson Mandela and then uh, probably another moment. Damn, there's, there's so many moments. Well, I take, I give you this moment. What's the one woman in the in the business of entertainment that if you could get a date with her, a weekend with her, that you would want to date her? Everybody knows that. That's Halle Berry. Mm. She's, she's, Halle Berry. She's on my back, actually. Halle Berry, uh, Halle Berry tattooed on your back. No cap. Sure. Halle Berry ain't on your back. Halle Berry on your back. She sure will. Oh damn. That's her. Pull up. That's her. Holly Berry, you got it. That's, you know? That's her right there. I told her that. Nah, I, stay right there. Yeah. That's her. <laughs> <laughs> I met her at a charity, and then I told her, like, I had a suit. And then I was like, yo, you know I got a tattoo of you on my back. Wow. She was like, oh, my God. So I took my suit off. I had a tux, took it off. Wow. And I showed her. She was like, why did you do that? I was like, I always wanted to fuck you. Huh? <gasps> and I was like, <laughs> but I was drunk, so what that's like say? a truth serum. And what she was like, okay. So it was awkward. And then did she like smile with it? Like, oh, yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. I never saw it again. Did but, she hit that Waka Flocka up me? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look down, I, look down. I wish I knew that story before. <laughs> that. <laughs> well, 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 Yo, well, you got a celebrity title? Yeah, yeah, that's why. Since we're talking yeah, about that, you got a lot of ink. Wait till you hear this. Wait till you hear this. <laughs> Who's your favorite celebrity? Ever? Oh, I don't know, man. That's a trick question. <laughs> you three, obviously. Appreciate it. Yeah. 
I actually got, I got a lot of celebrities tattooed on me. I got Easy E on me, and me and Easy E's kid, Lil Easy, we actually became super tight because oh, of wow. it. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, yeah. I got uh, I got Jeffrey Star on me. Actually, he he and I became tight because of that. I ran into him one time at Boa, and I just told him like that. I was like, Yo, Jeffrey, I got tattooed you. Jeffrey Star? Yeah. That's crazy. And he asked me why and all that, and I told him, and he just thought it was he thought like it was YouTube, cool. YouTube Jeffrey Star. Yeah. That was my mother artist too. Like one day I walked to my mother's house, and Jeffrey Star was sitting on the sofa. She's like, Why? Wow, this is my artist, Jeffrey Star. I'm like. Maryland? Nah, like, he's like, don't, he look at me like, ah, my fault, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, hey, it's y'all been there. No bro. way. What? Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. I got, uh, I got ASAP Rocky. I got, I got Kodak. I got Kodak Black. You got Kodak on you? I got Kodak Black tattooed on my butt cheek. They don't really want to see you win and live in the It's a Z shit. I need it's a Z shit. It's your ass shit. You, you, you hate some Black heart. Yeah, nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what? Thank you, Walker. I'm gonna take this away from you, brother. Cause uh, I feel like I own this. I think like, like I should get a second one. You, you taking yeah, his black card? Give him the double black card. Huh? Give him the double black card. I'll put it over. You, <laughs> you got him on your booty cheek. Well, bro, my whole which, body. Which cheek my, is the right one or the left, left one? <laughs> I'm tattooed from the top of my head to my toes, so I'm running out of space. So you telling me, you got Mr. Haitian cold that black on your booty cheek? Yes, sir. So what do women say about that when they see you naked? Like, do they be like, oh my God, you got Kodak Black? They think it's funny. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's a good icebreaker. You want to see it? You want me to show it to you? You, you want to see it? 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 it made me think about Waterboy. You remember the coach pulled his ass no, out? No, no, and no, no. <laughs> Show the camera, man. No. <laughs> and he, show the camera. No, show the camera. Show the camera. <laughs> Yo. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. Booty hole. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I thought I've seen it all. Fuck my no, life. I ain't never seen nigga. Fuck you. my life. And it, 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 it was fucked Rockstar. up. Is that Koda? He ain't even black. It's a red outline, but it looked like <laughs> like he ain't that's, even black. That's, that's the image from the first time Kodak went to jail. I remember that. I, yeah, that's I saw the that. image. I saw. I, I saw. I looked at it. I came up. <laughs> <laughs> I came up. I came up in that area. So I used to be at Green Acre Projects like every day. So he was like the home. He was like the hometown hero, you know. So it was just like, it was just like I don't know. It was, like, it was before no, he blew bro, up. Yeah, no, bro. You just told me a booty cheek would go to black on that bro. <laughs> no, bro. Ain't no way. Where else you want me to put it, bro? bro where bro. else you want me to put it? Pause. Hell no, no, man. <laughs> man, that's crazy. That's fucking crazy. Man, what the fuck, Walker? Walker! You gotta say Yo, something. Walker, you know that. I know it's you walking. That is, it, that is it, it, man. I, you don't miss that. You, gotta get... <laughs> you traumatized. Man. He's traumatized. Yo, no, he... I, I, get that. I get it. I get it. That's, hey, I get it. I get it. That's fuck. Yo, it's it's kind of dope. It's dope as fuck. It's fucking dope as fuck. It's, it's low key dope, fuck. man. It's fucking dope. It's low key. And I'm like, man, you, you don't no, fucking do it. I, I can't do it. From a perspective, I can't do it. Though. He, can, he can do it, though. I, we yeah, can't I'm do it. We can't do that. He can do that shit. I just got a heart attack. So yes, that's another great episode, man. If we playing space, I want to give a big shout out to my dog, Who Kid, Thank for you coming for in. Me, and yeah. you know, I guess you did your thing a little bit. And we busted your ass. Hey, relax. Busted your ass. Like, calm down. Yeah. Uh, you did a little I'm bit. I'm calm. I was so focused on this money. So <laughs> that lost me. So, I had a good time, yeah. man. Yes, sir. I appreciate you, man. You you killing it out here, man. I, no, I thank I tried, you for I coming tried, in. I you know, I learned a lot about you. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm a young guy, so you know. I'm, yeah, glad, I'm glad I influenced you in some form of way. Yes, yeah. sir. And, and big money. I appreciate you. <laughs> big money. Big money. You big money. <laughs> big money. Yes, sir. <laughs> my, I'm Desi Banks. I'm Waka Flocka Flame. Yeah. And this is We Play in Spades, man. Yeah. We'll see y'all next week. Pull up.